Hey guys, so we're going to be looking at a few things today, and this is going to be specifically about when you're looking at a skybox or a material for your sky, there's a few different ways that you can do things within Unity. So I'm using Unity 2018.2, which is in beta, which is the newest version at the very moment. And by default, when you start yourself a new project, a new scene, whatever it may be, it comes with the default skybox or a default material for a skybox. And if you go to your lighting tab normally, um, I like to dock it on the right hand side. If you go window, rendering, and then lighting settings, I dock it on the right hand side so we can see things going on. We have the skybox material, which is the default skybox, which we can't actually access. We have to actually make our own if we want to be able to change it. So quite commonly when you go to, you know, you want to create your own skybox or your own material for the sky, you can right click, right click in your project panel, go create, choose material, and we can call this a skybox material version one. And I'll go back to the inspector again. And from there, we can click on the drop down and we can go to skybox and we have a, a selection of different shaders that we can use. We can use six sided cube map, panoramic or procedural. Six sided is the classical one from earlier versions of Unity, which will allow you to place uh, six different images with different front, back, left, right, if you've got the classical different images that you can place. Not quite as common um, these days because it doesn't offer quite as realistic lighting as some of the ones we will discuss. Cube map is the classical one to have a HDRI map that you can place within Unity and you get good to be used with physically based rendering and allows you to take the lighting information from the actual skybox that you use and translate that to the lighting information that you'll see in your scene so you can equate to a specific style. And then you have skybox panoramic which is often one for a 360 image or something that you might have taken from a specific video format. And then skybox procedural which is the classic one which we'll see from this scene here. Now if we choose to use our custom one and leave it on procedural and we just drag our skybox material version one here we'll see the same thing. We can adjust certain parameters like the sun size. We can change the sky tint depending how dark it may be, what the exposure of the overall sky would be and certain parameters like that. But like I said, that's not 100% accurate and doesn't give a great deal of detail. So what we want to be able to use is a HDRI map which you can use as your skybox or your environmental map. And you can go back down to the shader and you can go to skybox and you can choose something called cube map. Cube map at the minute would be blown out if we actually change the exposure to more than one. So what you can do to get yourself a free HDRI map is somewhere like hdrhaven.com and it's completely free for commercial use or any sort of use because it's supported by the patrons that they have and it's up to 16,000 resolution uh, of unclipped HDRI soft textures and materials. So you can go to things like textures depending what type of environment you're trying to associate your lighting with. So let's say for instance that we wanted an outdoor theme and this is some of the outdoor selection of themes and they've got a whole host of ones and, and categories into an absolute grand selection of different skyboxes for any sort of scenario that you might want. So let's say for instance that we want this one here, the Tears of Steel Bridge and we can click on that and you can get the example of how the materials would look in a particular um, setting. You can choose what resolution you want to have as your Skybox. Now, the higher the resolution, the better the quality. But again, if you're making it for a video game, you want to sort of associate it with the type of game that you're going to make. So, if it's going to be you know PC consoles type of game, you might be wanting to aim for 2K, 4K resolution, and things higher might be a little bit unnecessary. So, if you go for a 4K as an around about way to do it, you can save the file, and you can see that it's a HDR file. You can go back into Unity and you can right click in your project panel, import new asset. And then what you can do is find that HDR file, it'd just be an image file and you can see it here. That it'll be compressed and you can see that it's compressed to 2K at maximum. The max size on import is 2K, we can set that to 4K and press apply. So it will allow it to be not quite as heavily compressed. They are tend to be, they do tend to be quite big files, so be wary of that. And then you can set your texture shape to cube. You can have the mapping and you can specify whether it's a six frame layout, which is the 
run the radius effect, a, a six frame layout, uh, a latitude, longitude, spherical, or a sphere map. Unity will detect the aspect ratio of the image and automatically specify it as the map that we require. And you can hit apply. And now from here you can see that the image has been converted into the cube map for us and you will see that it's almost a spherical environment so it's, you can see it all the way around. Now we can go back to our skybox material and we can make sure that our skybox is set to cube map and then what we can do is uh, we can drag our uh, material straight onto there and then we can get we get a whole view of the entire skybox that has been produced for this actual thing itself. You can go and adjust exposures and things like that but a default setting would be something like one and you can adjust the rotation depending on what you have for your scene. You can of course try different HDRI maps depending on what type of lighting scenario you're looking to create and then you can create yourself different environmental assets and when you decide to bake out your lighting it will inherently take the information from the HDR skybox when you're using the environment lighting and you're choosing the source as the actual skybox. So you're taking the exact lighting information directly from the environmental or HDR map that you've actually given it. So I just did a quick real-time bake on that and you can see from my cube that was originally very white is that we've got differences on either side. If I choose to rotate my material which is the skybox you can see the differences as i move around this object you can see the lighting adjusts accordingly to depending on how or where it sat in the position that it is within the scene so it's just a way to try and creep your game towards higher realism especially if you're using a pbr related assets it can go a long way to achieve a specific lighting scenario that you're looking to achieve so hopefully this gave you some tips and tricks and helped you out. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.